APIs that have opened doors to greater collaboration, to building new products and services. But really, if you think of an API just as an individual utility, it will be nothing more than that. But when you think of it as a product, when you think of it as a journey, when you think of it as a value creation mechanism, that is when you really start to see um, um, a shift in how open digital platforms are delivering values to the consumers, um, to the banks, to the financial institutions, and even to the fintechs, and in fact, even to the regulators. Each business uh, in today's world, okay, they want to go digital. And digital, and this is not an option, it's must have. And the business does not work in a silo fashion, it was working uh, in, in the previous days. Uh, so it's all about collaboration, it's all about partnership, it's all about uh, integration with uh, fintechs, with the, with the retailers. Uh, in order to generate different revenue streams. Go for an API management uh, product from the shelf and use uh, some of the technology partners to help you leverage that and offer your APIs because that's how the world would recognize you. Gone are the days for the legacy banking uh, that you have, uh, your branches and people from there. Everyone, like PSD2 regulations and everything, right? You need APIs so that uh, people can, like uh, Swift, Swift has been there for many years. It, it, it is not the best of thing, but everyone is forced to use it, right? Now with Swift GPI, you can actually have banks talking to each other over API, telling what's the status of a Swift transaction, right? That's the power of an API. What kind of uh, marketplaces could exist for, for a financial institution? I would look at this in three dimensions. One could be fintech marketplace, wherein you're trying to kind of collaborate with the third party providers, with the fintechs, and with your own data sets, your own APIs. I would look at the other dimension being an internal marketplace. You want to promote the API culture within your own developer community. You don't want it to be a siloed wherein you are only kind of trying to kind of sell it to the outside parties, but wherein the internal cultural shift, as some of the other colleagues and panelists touched upon, has not still got in. And third would be a product marketplace, wherein you are bringing in innovative products. My recommendation is Whenever we are creating an API product, start with a very, very strategy level. What is the business objective? What are the KPIs that define the success criteria of the APIs? Right? Once you do that, get a business sponsor from the high stakeholder. Because without that, you will not be able to succeed. You have to see this as um, a product rather than anything else. When developing an API with a product mindset, when you really start with a business problem or a business requirement, finds an innovative solution, design, develops, and secures uh, the APIs, and publishes the MVP API product. The journey from a project to a product mindset would require a change in perspective and adapting a complete API first and customer first approach. What that really means is to design a simple solution which is extensible to meet the constantly evolving demand from your customer.